hello, my name is Mark Tillotson. I'm a uh, performer and theatre maker. I run Mark Mark Productions. Uh, we perform all over the country and also into Europe, creating unusual outdoor theatrical experiences, uh, street theatre and spectacle. But what I love about my work is we get to work and exist in a world of make-believe. Uh, we work and we create fantasy and we live in a completely sort of made-up world. Hopefully, what the theatre we create engages audiences, uh, we invite them into that world. Uh, I'm also lucky that we laugh all the time because we work in humour, mostly working with humour and hopefully creating humorous shows. Uh, whether we're rehearsing, travelling, performing, or in the office, we laugh all the time. So basically we get paid to laugh, which is sort of wonderful. The work we've done with uh, We Great Place, we were very lucky that we met them uh, really early on and we were involved with one of the early projects, which was the Man Engine, uh, which was a wonderfully creative and sort of stunning experience and really good for us. Um, and hopefully uh, we created a really interesting experience that way. Since then, we've worked on uh, Puddler's Fair, We've worked on um, We Wonders, The Rotherham Show, We Wonders Noir, uh, a great Christmas event with Harry for the Harry Potter thing, um, lots of events. Those are the ones that are specific that I remember. The impact that uh, We Great Place has had on our creative practice. Quite often, as creative practitioners and as theatre makers, we work uh, creatively, but we work in a world of isolation. Mark Mark can be a bit of an ideas factory. We all work, we work very well together, we create and we build and we make theatre that we then take out. But the creation of it uh, can be a little bit in isolation. Unlike other bookers and uh, many other commissioning partners, We Great Place are really creative partners. They, they're along for the whole ride and we work alongside them in creating the work that we do. Uh, they have a big involvement in the content and a great invol involvement in how that project builds. The other big thing that We Great Place has affected our creative practice is to bring together really interesting creative practitioners from all around the region. Met and worked with many, many different people that we wouldn't really have met before, like I said, because we work in isolation. So it's broadened our creative practice and uh, fulfilled it by, by their input as well. So their input on the project and broadening to allow us to work with other creative partners. The highlights of working uh, with We Great Place has really been how well that the, the two companies have engaged with the audiences and how, how wonderful the events have engaged with the audiences. In the very first one, the Man Engine, so standing at Wentworth uh, on the balcony at uh, Wentworth Woodhouse and the sunny day looking down at the thousands of people that were there, wonderfully uh, enjoying this amazing spectacle of the Man Engine uh, through to being at the Puddler's Fair where it rained. And that's, you know, we, we're used to that as outdoor performers, but it didn't matter. Everybody went into Building 21. And that was, again, a wonderfully different creative experience, different from the Man Engine. Equally as wonderful, I think the highlights have been working with them on wonderful and wonder-filled events. A wee great place, the whole team has brought a huge amount to the culture of this region, to how we can structure that culture, and how we can talk and how we can engage with other creatives in the region. In the region. Not only that, it's not just been about talk, it's not just been about uh, theory, it's been very much about practice. So not only do these, these companies get together, but they get together to perform together, and they get to, together to create together and to work together. There's an outcome, and the outcome has always been really special and really effective. Whether it's the Man Engine, whether it's been the Puddler's Fair, We Wonders or We Wonders Noir, it's about creative practitioners working together and trying to get the best cultural performance out into the community um, and to get them to work with it and to get them to appreciate all the stuff that's around it. So uh, the legacy of that should be for it to continue. It would be a great shame if this was one of those projects that came for two years and sparkled like a, like a firework, just dies. We need this to carry on. The community needs this to carry on because it's worked extremely well. So, uh, a story of how uh, this kind of work matters 
and why it matters to Barnsley and Rotherham. When we, like I said, when we first met the We Great Place, it was Dominic and Rachel, and they came to see us at our office at the Civic. And they talked about the man engine and talked about how our performances and what shows and what walkabout and what interesting character work that we could bring. Uh, so we just, so that was great. Somewhere along that journey, Dominic suggested that I should end up playing the Earl, one of the Earls who was a bit of a playboy. Uh, who'd had uh, an affair with one of the Kennedys and had died in a plane crash, but a bit of a sort of a playboy with lots of money, and uh, I should play that character. So on the so we costumed it and all that. Again, it was Dominic very, very, very keen that this should happen. On the day, it was hard sometimes to fit it in and hard. There were so many other things happening with the, with the man engine. As people left, Dominic said, why don't you go to the gate and say goodbye to people? So we hastily found a little bit of a family uh, for we found a wife very quickly. I don't think we found children. But we went to the gate and to say goodbye to these thousands of people as they left, as if it was the Earl, sort of just saying thank you for coming. And what happened, well, what that allowed, we're as outdoor performers, we're very used to audiences being able to come up to us afterwards and thank us for the show and thank us for the good time or the laughs that they've had. But this was different. This was a different kind of audience. People who weren't necessarily used to going to outdoor events and outdoor spectacle. It's not something that happens that often in this area. So, and it was amazing of how, how they talked to, the, to me, the Earl, and how they sort of thanked me and sort of talked to talk to me a little bit about their lives as they were leaving very briefly but that was a great uh, a great moment and it really showed for me the value of that kind of event and how that kind of event engages with the community and not only that it's how they if the engagement is two ways it's not just you engaging and performing a show it's how they they themselves really engage with it and how valuable that was to the community and how positive that experience was. So the legacy of We Great Place, of what we think it should be. One is to really continue what we have learned, to continue using culture to engage and excuse and encourage the community. That's been a huge part of the We Great Place, of how it works with the community, how it brings culture, and how it gets the community to engage with that culture. And the legacy really needs to be con to continue this, to continue this journey of spectacle and wonder and engagement.